You get a Fujifilm camera and you want to interview someone for the production of a documentary or a commercial. I'm going to share four tips for you to get there easily. My name is David, I'm from Namur in Belgium and I will be your guide during this video. My name is Caroline, also known as Betty Jane. I have always been passionate about fashion and the possibility to make my own clothes. How it evolved through the time, the design, the techniques, the color, the textile. Choosing the right color and the good fabric takes time. It is like going on an adventure by searching the perfect combination that will fit the design and also our body. Finding the good fabric that will get the right texture but also an ethical manufacturing. If I have any advice to give, it will be to make a mood board that will include all the color, the fabric and also the design that you love. It will be your source of inspiration. My name is Caroline and I am a swing teacher. My first advice will be on the recording of your A footage. That is to say the main footage used to interview your speaker. It will represent the basis of your editing because it is on this that your whole project will be built. You will have to pay attention to your framing, your light and your location. I only have one camera here with me, the Fujifilm X-H2S, but I'm going to simulate the presence of two cameras by interviewing my speaker twice. A first time with the wide angle and then do it again but with a narrow angle. For the location, I choose a place in which it is possible to identify the place in which my subject is, but without adding any difficulty to my shooting. The place should not be too noisy or with too many disruptive elements that can make you repeat your takes several times. For the framing, I use my grid of third to place my subject wisely and with the best possible rendering. For the light, and if your interview takes place outdoors, I advise you to do it two or three hours after sunrise or three or four hours before sunset. If your day is completely cloudy, then you can be happy because it will diffuse your light and really help you to control your exposure. Try to avoid shooting when the sun is on the zenith. Last advice, by using the autofocus of your Fujifilm camera. With the Fujifilm X-H2S, I configure it on eye detection and trusting it completely. This will allow you to focus 100% on the second tip. The second advice will be on the audio part. Tell yourself that this is the most important, the essential for your project, because without a quality audio recording, your documentary will be far from perfect. If you lose control of your image, tell yourself that it cannot happen for the audio part. The audio recording of your speaker must be flawless. Make sure you use a quality lavalier microphone or shotgun mic that allow you to have a clear voice without sound interference that can distract your viewers. If your Fujifilm camera allows it, I advise you to use an XLR type audio module in order to use quality equipment. For the Fujifilm X-H2S, I use a Tascam XLR audio module specially designed for Fujifilm and communicating through the flash shoe. Try to use headphones that can provide you external noise reduction so that you can perfectly monitor the recording of your speaker. You have to understand that this part of the project is essential and really represents the most important point. The third advice will be on the B footage. That is to say the illustration footage that will be used to put your speaker words into image. If you have the possibility, try to record this after the shooting of your speaker. By proceeding in this way, you will be able to concentrate on capturing illustration shot in connection with the speaker speech. If you record the illustration shot before your speaker, you will shot pretty much anything and everything even risking not having image relating to his speech. Also, tell yourself that there are classic framing techniques that can be used on any kind of project. A medium shot, a close shot of the face, a close shot of the hands, over the shoulder, detail of the location, a portrait shot, a moving sequence, a unique framing. The list is quite long and will allow you to film this illustration shot easily and regardless the project's nature. If your camera has sensor stabilization, I invite you to activate it in order to have super stable shot when recording handheld. With the Fujifilm X-H2S, my sensor stabilization comes in two variations in order to be the most effective. I have the possibility to choose between handheld shot that will be either static or moving. My last advice concerns when meeting the speaker. Try to put him at ease from the first contact. Basic elements should be remembered, such as the fact that this is not a live broadcast and that we can redo the takes several times without any worries. Also, invite him to rephrase the nature of the question when answering. If you ask him what his favorite color is, the answer should not be limited to blue, but to the color that I prefer has always been blue. 
Another tip that I also like to do with my speaker is pronouncing out loud all the vowels. Practice this with him so he doesn't feel alone or foolish. This will free the speaker's jaw by improving the diction. Also, keep your camera rolling all the way and wait at least 10 seconds after the speaker's answer before rephrasing a new question. This will save you from interrupting him and perhaps give way to sharing crucial information for your documentary. By using these different tips, you will be able to carry out your project without any problem and achieve a perfect job. If you have never done this kind of project, do not hesitate to practice beforehand with a friend or a member of your family in order to be ready on the day of your shoot. Thank you for watching this video and I see you in the next tutorial for Fujifilm Belgium.